Hi, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. This is going to be your February 2020 tarot reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For those of you guys that are new, welcome, and if you are returning, I am so glad to have you back. Uh, those of you who haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. If you're interested in a personal reading, the links to personal readings are in the description box below. I am doing a 30% off sale for the rest of this month. So from now till the rest of February, you guys can get 30% off all tarot readings, questions, and horoscopes. So feel free to take advantage of that. There are a couple of changes to Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, feel free to follow me on Instagram. The links are in the description box below for Instagram and Facebook. Everything that goes to Instagram automatically goes onto Facebook as well because I know not everybody has Instagram. So on Fridays, we do our weekend energies over on Instagram. So it's an all signs reading. You can look at your energy, the person that you're dealing with's energy for the weekend. And on Saturdays, we do our free extended giveaway. So there is an extended giveaway every Saturday on Instagram, and then there'll be random pop-up question giveaways as well. So feel free to follow me. The links are down below. If you're following me on either one of those or on here, then you automatically are entered in the giveaway to win a free reading, which is something that I do every single month. For those of you guys that are interested in following me to the extended, the link will be in the description box below. It'll be the first link. It is going to be 20 to 30 minutes from now. I've made um, a couple adjustments, so it'll be 20 to 30 minutes. It's all about love, whereas this is going to be a more generalized reading for the month. There you're going to see all of the love energies for the month between you and whoever it is that you are. Whoever it is that is on your mind the most is who the extended is going to be for. We're going to pull romance angels, clarify those. We're going to go through you dealing with each and all of the signs, and then we're going to get into your love reading. Look at your energy your person's energy anything that needs to be said things that are hidden will come out and what not so thank you guys for sticking with me i am going to start off your reading all right every deck is calling me okay that's fun all right messages for gemini please show me what gemini needs to see for the month of february Tell me what Gemini needs to see for the month of February, please. All right, so we're starting off with the Ten of Cups. Wow, you guys. Happiness, fulfillment here. Absolute beautiful energy. I feel like your relationships throughout this month are going to be thriving. You're going to be thriving here. If you're single, you're really in that energy of knowing that the one is out there for you. Some of you, you can sense that there is somebody coming in towards you here. But it looks like your relationships are going very well here. You are, you know, very well content when it comes to, you know, your emotions, which also makes me feel that financially your career is also going very well because the ten of cups is a very stress-free energy all right messages for gemini please we have the six of pentacles some of you guys have definitely come into um financial increase if you are struggling financially it does look like financial help is on the way for you there are people that are here to support you if you've reached out for a loan it looks like you are going to be getting that loan here but i do see that there are people that are offering help towards you here as well as there are going to be a lot of people that are needing your help it's almost like your advice is going to all of a sudden be needed by a lot of people that are in your life they're going to be looking for your opinions regarding things that are going on in their personal lives and their career lives here so you're going to have a little bit of adapting to do this month where it's like things are going very good but at the same time you're very busy you are balancing out and you know multitasking multiple things within your life you have a lot on the go all right we have a six of swords here some of you this is you know getting back on track with a relationship you could have been on pause with somebody here some of you are reconciling with somebody from the past but with the six of swords energy you are moving towards you know calmer times you're moving towards better times that are ahead of you here you see the path is clear ahead of you so you're no longer focusing on what's behind you you're no longer focusing on past relationships you are just moving forward some of you guys are going to be traveling here you may be saving to travel but it looks like you know traveling is going to be something that is going to be very good for you it's going to make you feel very happy very excited some of you, you're realizing that there's nothing really left for you in the place that you live. So you're wanting to move to a different country, move to a different city. The hangman. 
it looks like there was you know a huge some delays here uh for you guys and it looks like there's some spiritual awakenings coming for some of you i am sensing that this is somebody from the past that is having an awakening about this connection with you some of you are dealing with the pisces here but i feel like you are going to be getting awakenings on you know if your life was at a standstill you're going to know where to go you're going to find out the answers on what direction you need to go to but it looks like these answers are coming from you with the six of pentacles you may be getting you know advice and asking you know going to others for advice going to others for answers but it looks like the answer are going to come from with you within you some of you these are going to come to you through dreams others of you this is just symbols and synchronicities that you need to look for you need to pay attention to look them up when you see them messages for gemini the wheel of fortune you guys wow things are absolutely turning if there was you know a stand so for sure things are turning things are going in your favor this is luck this is fate you know with the ten of cups and the wheel of fortune here this really does show me that this month is going to be very fortunate for you guys when it comes to you know finding new ways to make money just increase in your finances some of you are going to you know receive money from unexpected places this month it's like you're gonna just feel like luck is finally going in your favor you know things are finally going in your favor things are finally going right some of you guys need to make sure that you keep this faith if this is not where you're at because this is what's coming towards you and others of you need to you know not look out for something wrong to happen because this seems like the energy where things are going so great where it's almost like you're kind of like looking around waiting for something waiting for the bomb to drop because things seem too good but this is something that you have you know you deserve this you've put in the energy and you know the um spiritual evelation that some of you have gone towards this is what you are getting rewarded with for that some of you this is getting a lot of abundance because you've been giving to others you've been helping others some of you may have um non-profit foundations you just volunteer a lot you you know you're very giving you help people whenever they are in need and it's finally like it looks like your help is coming and it may be at a time where you don't even need the help but you're going to be very appreciative of all this stuff that's coming towards you messages for gemini the queen of swords here cutting out what no longer serves you you're realizing you know how powerful your life can be you're realizing how amazing things can go for you and because things are picking up for you some of you are going to have people from the past that are going to be coming back in trying to get a piece of the life that you're living right now some of you that people are wondering why it is that you do seem so happy why it is that life is going so well for you when you were just you know going through a breakup recently here but it looks like there's somebody that's a little bit annoyed and unhappy at your happiness at the way that things are going for you this could be an ex for sure others of you this could be um i'm getting like a best friend which really sucks but you would tell by this person's um it's like you know like please you know this is like the best friend that would always try to one-up you or the best friend that when something is going good you know for you they don't really um they don't really pay attention they pay attention more when things aren't going well and they're also more in your energy whereas you know if you're going towards this person for help they're not as there for you as you would be for them so this is somebody that you know as long as things are going good for them, it's amazing. But if things are going good for you and things are going good for this person, then they're a little bit like, you know, and they're not really gonna show up, but you could kind of tell by the looks that they give you. You can kind of tell because the way that the energy drops in the room, but there definitely is somebody in your life. Some of you, this is even a mother that is just unhappy that you're happy, a mother that maybe, you know, isn't happy within their own life. And for some reason they're taking that out on you here. Or there's somebody that is just like i think this person always knew who you were some of you this person tried to hold you back and now that you're breaking free and you know things are finally going in the way that you wanted them to go this person is just like how dare they very very manipulative energy this is somebody that likes a limelight five of pentacles here this is somebody that you're going to be blocking out of your life or somebody that you have blocked out of your life this person if you've already blocked them then they're just kind of creeping you looking at your pictures looking at your life right now looking at the things that are happening for you and kind of annoyed at the fact that it's not happening within their own life but this person is stuck like they're stuck on you this is somebody that i feel is very obsessed um but the thing is i'm not getting that this is a like somebody from the past for a lot of you you know for some of you it definitely is but for a lot of you i really think that this is like a friend or some sort of you know womanly figure in your life 
life that just kind of maybe they look down on why you know you're successful where you got your success from this could be a mother that wants a certain life for you you got you know that life that they wanted but it wasn't exactly the way how you know they wanted you to be a doctor but you decided you're gonna be an actor and you know you got a big movie you're so happy everybody's so happy for you but for some reason your mother that wanted you to be a doctor is looking at you like you know Some of you, you're going to be realizing who this person is in your life and you're going to be cutting them out. The chariot here, moving forward here, picking yourself up. Uh, lots of travel here. Traveling is going to be great. Some of you are going to be traveling for new opportunities or you're going to find a new opportunity through traveling. You're going to be discovered. Some of you are very, very, very beautiful and there are um people in different industries that would love to work with you. Some, uh, some of you, this is photographers. But it looks like, you know, anything that happens throughout this week that, you know, anybody that tries to do something to get you down, you're not going to let that affect you. You're not going to let that, you know, touch you in any way. You're just going to be moving forward. You see where you're going and you are, you know, buckled into focus on where you're headed. Your determination and your willpower is strengthening because you're a lot closer to, you know, the destination you've been wanting to get to. The Nine of Cups, yeah, you're rushing towards happiness. You're rushing towards an emotional uh fulfillment this is you some of you guys are moving on you know being single from a relationship here and finding happiness within being single realizing that you know as much as you wanted a relationship and as much as joy that the relationship brought you at certain times you can bring yourself a lot more joy here some of you are walking right into a wish fulfillment a wish come true and you have no idea so maybe this wish fulfillment does have to do with traveling so if so, traveling is something you've always wanted to do and you haven't had a chance to do it you know i would start saving i would start planning you know as soon as you know the week or the month i mean before the month ends at least have one plan in place you know even if it's going to take you a while to save just try to really you know visualize it and see yourself being there because i do see that there is some sort of you know break that you guys are going to have but it goes through you know you traveling so maybe if you're already planning to travel this is what's going to happen but I'm really seeing this as, as a distant it's like a blurry so it's I know it's in the distance it's the future for sure messages for Gemini I love you guys you guys are so sweet like if I'm ever not in a good mood Gemini where's my Gemini friends my Gemini friends are you know the craziest like I'm a Scorpio but I find they're the ones that I can do and say the craziest things around and I think that they're just as crazy and insane and intense as I am in a fun way not a psycho way you know so I really love that vibration all right the hermit Some of you guys are avoiding people here. It's like there's somebody that's wanting to reach out to you. There's somebody that is wanting to either conversate with you or just kind of check in with you, but they're not able to see you. They're not able to access you. So there is somebody that you guys are avoiding here. Others of you, this is you guys going within and getting wisdom. Cause like I said before, you are going to be getting wisdom from spending time to yourself. So, you know, maybe just take one day a week throughout this week to just not be on your phone so much, not be on social media and just kind of be with your own thoughts because there is a lot of advice that is going to be coming to you. It's almost like there's a messenger here. Some of you have been seeing the same number over and over again, and that is a sign that there is a message coming towards you that you haven't received. Some of you um, are life path number six, number nine, number five, and it would be very, very, um, what's the word? Um, useful if you were to look up your life path number if you were to read a couple articles on your life path number it would really provide you with certain you know bits of information that you could actually really use in your life right now so six nine and five messages for gemini then we're going to clarify you have the five of wands here yeah, there's somebody that's conflicted um, about the fact that things are going good for you, about the fact that your life is going well right now. Some of you, this is also struggles within, you know, your life right now because you have a lot of people that are trying to influence the things that you do. You have a lot of voices that are, you know, being thrown at you, a lot of opinions here. This could also be people that are just trying to cause arguments in order because they see that you're happy. Some of you, this really is an ex here, but I do sense that there is a friend energy as well here. But there is an ex that just doesn't want you to be happy. They see how happy you are and it's like, it's not that they don't want you to be happy but why are you happy if i'm not the one making you happy that's this person's energy it's a little bit possessive 
All right, so clarify the hermit for Gemini. We have the Hierophant. Some of you are gonna be going within, um, you're gonna be offered some sort of commitment here. You're going within to make the decision. Some of you, this may be a divorce and you're going within to make the decision on whether or not you should or not. But for some of you, what you need to realize here is if you're going to somebody else, like a, like a counselor, um, you know, yes, if you feel the need to go to a counselor, absolutely, I'm not saying don't, but I am saying that if you go within, there are answers that you need to discover for yourself as well. All right, clarify the six of pentacles. Yeah, some of you are thinking about getting help within your relationship, like from a counselor, um, because what you guys are doing, you know, is not working. We have the Sun of Swords here. There could be somebody also this month rushing in towards you because they're in a financial mess. Somebody that is coming towards you needing financial help. For some of you, I'm getting that this is your younger son. If you have a son that always needs your help um, or needs your help occasionally, then this is definitely a son here. But I am getting a male energy that is coming in. They could be needing help for their son to financially support their son as well. Clarify the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles here. So it looks like, you know, your life is going to be getting a lot more balanced throughout this month here. Things that you, you know, um, seeds that you planted are now starting to grow here. You're looking a lot more abundant and this is going to bring joy towards you. So for some of you, this is just a financial abundance that is bringing you all this happiness and all this contentment here. Some of you, this is marrying into a family with a lot of money as well. Clarify the Six of Swords. somebody's paying off a large amount of debt or you know some sort of debt that they've had that's been burdening them for a while the hermit is oh the hermit again which is a very um powerful energy as it's come out twice so some of you guys are definitely dealing with the virgo but we have the nine of swords and the six of swords so it looks like there's somebody coming out of hiding here somebody coming out of you know their little hibernation their cocoon somebody that is wanting to communicate with you somebody that was kind of waiting for you to communicate with them and i feel like you haven't and because of that this person is going to be picking themselves up and coming towards you um some of you this is somebody that is just going to be showing up at your house others of you this is somebody that has you know tried to message in multiple ways and because they haven't been able to access you they may be deciding to access somebody that you know whether this is a friend or a family member in order to figure out how to meet with you this person just wants to speak with you they want to make things better even if you don't end up with them they have a lot of things that they want to apologize for a lot of things that they've realized about this connection that they need to share with you they're not going to give up. This person is very actually in a very um, depressed state. And I don't think that state is going to be uplifted until they speak with you. So, you know, at least I would say give them like closure. If that's what, you know, at the very least, it could give you some help as well. Yeah, the, uh, the Queen of Wands, this person realizes that you're the one for them here. They're very sad without you. Clarify the hangman. the five of wands here i think that there was also a delay within the two of you guys communicating because every time you did it just became a fight every time you did it just um was arguments here and the delay was because this person like i said they needed to get some sort of you know knowledge about this connection sometimes it takes losing something in order for us to realize what you know it truly means to us what its true value to us is and i feel like that's what happened with this person here i feel like this is somebody where as long as you were always with them they didn't really realize how much of an impact you made in their life and then once you were removed they really had to just sit there and think about you know what they had done clarify the nine of cups If you're wondering why it's taking so long for like if you're waiting for communication know that this person is going to communicate when the time is right but the time is not right right now and if the two of you guys were to communicate um it probably just would get to the point where you wouldn't be communicating again meaning the conversation that actually needs to happen that is manif being manifested right now won't happen so if you're waiting for communication and you know that you know it's coming from this person just allow it to come don't you know try to force it yourself allow it to come it will come when the time is right the Nine of Cups, we have the High Priestess here. Some of you intuitively already always knew what was going to make you happy, and now you're finally, you know, going for it here. 
some of you are going to be happy you're going to be content all you have to do is trust your intuition that is what this card is saying is that all you have to do is trust your gut whatever your gut tells you to do whatever your gut you know um makes you you know think about know that that is the truth know that that is you know your gut is there for a reason here and as long as you follow it you're always going to be content and there is going to be no regrets which is a very powerful thing to say a very a very powerful thing to be able to do and experience right clarify the chariot the chariot with the eight of swords here some of you have fear regarding moving on regarding moving forward some of you have fear regarding traveling or regarding moving towards um a different country here but this is all stuff that is going on within your head you are moving closer but i think that for some of you the fear is sinking in because you're moving closer whether you realize that you're getting closer or not i, I think that <coughs> Sometimes when we get close to achieving something, we do get a little bit scared because it's like, then what happens after that? Or what if this doesn't make us as content as we thought it would? Or we just get scared because we feel like we're not ready to handle what we'd asked for. But I think that you are ready. And I think that, you know, this fear is just very, very small. It may seem like it is large, but it really just is in your head. And once you realize that this is just in your head, then you're going to move past it. I see you're going to move past it either way here. But for some of you, this may take a little bit longer than others. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. So some of you guys are moving towards a new connection with a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo. Um, somebody that has a lot of passion for you here. So this is a new energy. This is somebody that you are fated to be with, somebody that you are destined to meet. This is where we're going to go in the extended. We're going to take a look at this person. Um, some of you, this is somebody that you are already dealing with. This is definitely somebody older than you. Somebody that, you know, um, I'm getting like strong, like this is somebody that's strong, um, you know, and it doesn't matter if you're feminine or if you're masculine energy, this is just a very strong individual. This is somebody that stands, you know, they stand like this, they have their face like this. They don't, you know, when they're walking, this is somebody that is very confident. They're not going to be on their phone with their head down like this. Like they're going to be walking like this and, you know, they're very well presented and they're very well respected here. And I think that you are going to fall for this person pretty quickly here um, because of the passion and the warmth that you're going to feel with them when you're cuddling this person. I see that they make you feel like home, like they're just so warm. You've never felt somebody so warm. You just always want to be in their arms here. This is somebody where, you know, even if you don't like public displays of affection, I think that it's naturally just going to be something that you guys do. Like when you guys are together, everybody else is gone. So it just kind of happens. But we'll take a deeper look at this individual in the extended. Um, with the Queen of Swords, we have the Daughter of Wands here. So some of you, this really is a daughter mother situation where somebody isn't happy about, you know, somebody's success. Some of you, this is because, you know, the mother pictures you as when you were, you know, when they were your age, they picture themselves and maybe they weren't where you were, right? So maybe it's just a little bit of jealousy. But definitely the fact that your life is kind of going, you know, very well and you feel you're feeling yourself, you're confident within yourself or something about your confidence that is, you know, making somebody a little bit angry here. Something about how you birth ideas, you know, you have an idea and you make it manifest. Some of you, this is somebody that's jealous of your business because your business is growing very successfully. The Five of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So there's definitely somebody working on coming back in. Uh, wanting to work on this uh, connection with you. Definitely somebody coming back from the past. Somebody that, you know, honestly, I don't think you should take this person back, but that's just my personal opinion. I think the past is the past, um, but this is somebody that wants to work things out. I just feel like they don't realize how much work truly does need to be put into this connection here. All right, guys, so that was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed your monthly reading. If you want to follow me down below to your love reading, we're going to take a look at who is in your life, who's coming in, whoever it is that you are thinking of or wanting to be thinking of is where we're going to go in the extended. The link for personal readings is in the description box below, 30% off throughout the rest of the month. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the month and I will see you next month. Take care.